Would you like some? Would you like me to throw that across the room? Hey, welcome back to our stupid rank TV. It's up Corbin. I'm hungry. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy gum. It's so juicy. I will smack that out of your hand. Come on, I'm hungry. I don't care. This is, you react to this. <laughs> I'm going to while I eat my seaweed. Oh my God. Thank you for us on Patreon and follow the official Twitter account. Mm. And today we are reacting to a, a little behind the scenes. Uh, remember the R Raj Kumar? Gandhi Ba, Gandhi, Gandhi, Gandhi oh, Ba. Yeah. Shahid Kapoor? Yeah, Dirty Talk. Yeah, uh, directed by Prabhu. Yes. This is behind the scenes with Prabhu and Shahid. Of that? Of that music video. Sweet! Yeah. Awesome! So, so we're gonna hear uh, Prabhu and uh, Shahid talk a little bit awesome. about the song. And uh, we love the song. We know it means Dirty Talk. Yeah, we know. We like it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so uh, this... And this will be the first time I think we've actually heard Prabhu talk. He talks. He doesn't just dance. I know. What a human. <laughs> Here we go. It's on my playlist. It's on mine too. Candy butter. Each and every show. Candy butter. Because we made Shai. We want to make Shai dance, dance, dance in that song. You did. So that makes me want to dance. So when Gandhi was, when we, Gandhi was done, we thought of Acha. It must be very easy, but it must be nice also, right? because everybody must follow. So I thought of Acha, because this film is happening not in city, it's happening, so they will have that uh, Gamcha. So uh, let us do a uh, movement with Gamcha. That's how it came, tying it and the Gandhi bar. And one more thing, like Gandhi bar, Gandhi bar means what? It's like, I think Gandhi Bhad is bad word something. So normally what happens in Gandhi Bhad, we will do it. Like that. So I included that also, Gandhi Bhad and that. Very smart. You see that movement when it, uh, they will be going back. Normally moon march will be going like this, like this. So I thought, split it, one, two, one, two, like that. <laughs> With the Michael Jackson, that thing, and with this Gandhi bar, we included this and Gamcha, this. Yeah, it is a half moon walk. Very creative. How much thought goes into all this? Yeah, he needs to have, no? Because uh, yeah. he has to, normally we round up and we will sit in the knee. But in this, he is already in the knee. Mm -hmm. He has to round in the air, again he has to fall in the knee. Again he has to fall in the knee. Yeah. There is no I wonder how much balance. his knees were, normally he probably had padding. padding, anything, padding. You know? yep. He will take one leg like this and then round. But in this, no, normally it's not like that. Yeah, he's he landing on the toes. And then he gently rounds in the air and falls in the knee. Ah. That time he was got hurt. No, before he got, but that time he, whenever he falls in the knee, the and mind the was like too much in the toe because he was already got hurt. He was always landing on the toe only. Mm. It was so painful. But still, he told no, so one more I will do it, I will do it, I will do it. He did it. Nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was cool. So creative again. Yeah. Like, who would think of that? Prabhu. Exactly. In Gandhi Bath only, the way of step is there because uh, whenever that music comes... That was the main theme in music. So I thought uh, some moment would be that like a very unique moment. Normally the waves will happen like this. The body will go like this. I thought, why can't we do it in opposite way? Yeah, backwards. Like, why can't we? When you go up, when you fall up, 
in the back because the technique is you have to go like this and then it was little tough i got the technique first now i don't know get hurt for got it like uh, in 5 10 minutes he got Ah. That was cool though. That's a, I like like that's a good behind the scenes video. Yeah, um, and I'm, I'm sure there's the whole movie because obviously he's the director of it. But uh, talking actually about specific things and exactly what into why I came up what with happened it. what what went wrong. Yep. Um, why I came up with that idea. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it was cool to see because obviously this is the first time we've actually seen Prabhu talk. Mm -hmm. um, but. Uh, it's, it's so interesting to see how he would actually come up with certain moves because like I think when we watched that we were like one it was an awesome fun song and she right. did, did a great job yep uh, at it uh, but like so many of the moves were just so like most of his stuff especially if he's the one choreographing it because I don't I don't know what point in his career did he start right choreographing because you don't do it obviously right away well he may have started as a choreographer oh, did first okay, yeah. yeah he may have just been choreographing and then just started to do his own stuff maybe that's what it was yeah um but he's just such a unique choreographer mm -hmm. <laughs> like the like I, I don't know I can't even do it but I like how he also said he's like I got it right away she had done. <laughs> yeah oh really yeah <laughs> oh, I didn't I didn't think you would <laughs> <laughs> oh he's fun and it it, it I would love to watch just him, not just doing a commentary. I'd love to just watch the camera on him while he's working, mm -hmm. you know, and while he's coming up with stuff. And he's so smart to do choreography that's both complex enough that people look at it and go, oh my goodness, and they would try to replicate it and take a long time. Mm. But the main step was easily replicatable for people watching it. Kids could see that, the, whether it was the, the hip the thrust and the thing to the head. Yeah, so that when people hear the song, they have a point of it that they connect to it and they can dance to it. You know, they can do the Gendi Bat dance, <laughs> but not all of it. I'm sure there's some people who could get all of it. Like when I was a kid, I'm trying to figure out how I did this too, because back when I was a kid, you didn't have the ability to just put things on the internet and just rewind them and do them. But I, I watched everything of every time Michael's videos were on, it was a nonstop watch fest to pick up every little nuance of the guy's movements and uh, so that I, anything behind the scenes where you can pick up how they're working, the amount of time they're taking to work on it, especially the creative process, like why he's coming up with something and how he's coming up with it. There's some great footage of Michael doing that very thing in his studio at home that you can find on the internet where he's in his, in his house. He actually, one of my favorite things with Michael's choreography is he had been putting some choreography together that was really militant and he loved it. And Janet was coming out with Rhythm Nation at the time. And he told Janet, he heard her song, and he said, you need, to, you need this choreography for your thing. Mm -hmm. I was gonna do it for my song, but you need it for Rhythm Nation, because mm -hmm. it fits your song better than my song. And yeah. so he gave her that choreography mm -hmm. he was working on. How cool it must have been for, like, we sat in the thing that, you know, I'm sure she had, had uh, idolized um, Prabhu. Prabhu. Oh yeah. Because he, obviously he's young, so he watched his films growing up, watched his dances. Yeah. And now he's being directed, and he's dancing with him. Yeah. Talk about talk about being motivated to get it right. <laughs> like seriously. First of all, you're working with him, and then second of all, you know, I'm about to do something that the world's going to watch and know this is Prabhu's work. I better get this right. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want to be known as the guy who. Screwed up Prabhu's choreography. And she hated it. Like we said, he's a really good dancer. Really good dancer. A lot of people uh, have, uh, in the comments, a lot of them say that they think he is actually better than Rithik sometimes. Right. Uh, in terms of, so we've seen very few of him. They're such different dancers. Yeah, they're, they're, they're they really different. are. One, different physiques. Yeah, that makes sense. It's a huge difference. One of the most impressive things about Rithik is his physique mm -hmm. and the fact that he is so fluid and not like dancing like what The Rock would be when he dances. <laughs> Because he very well could be. Because they're both huge, right? Yeah. I'm the Rock is a little bit bigger. <laughs> Just a little bit bigger. But I want to see... I want to see Dwayne Johnson on Dancing with the Stars. Ooh. He's too big for Dancing with the Stars. They get, like, C-list actors. I don't... That, that's true as far as his <laughs> status in the industry. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, that was awesome. Let us know what other Prabhu or Shahid or 
anything. Just let us know stuff down in the comments. Creative stuff. Just how, throw something else How was in your there. day? Yeah, let how were you know. doing? What did you have? Are you yeah. drinking your chai? Do you yeah. eat seaweed? I don't. I do. Getting back at it. You're disgusting.